Welcome back, everyone, as we go cruising to the musical sounds of Chuck E. Cheese and Munch's Make Believe Band. Your mileage may vary. Welcome back, folks. Uh, by the way, I wanted to mention that uh, I almost put a new roof on my new convertible car. Oh, yeah. So oh, uh, yeah. Too much overhead. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, 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 oh. That was really awful. <laughs> travel by plane, by car, but my favorite way is by train. Ooh, mine too. It goes a little slower, so you get to see a lot more. Yeah, there's nothing like going to sleep with the sounds of the rickety rackety rolling of those wheels. Oh, oh it's yes. true.
rolling back at you in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the band is taking a break. Stay tuned for a CEC TV special. On the land, in the air, or out at sea, if something is happening somewhere, it's news to me. <laughs> CEC TV presents the Chuck E. Cheese News, featuring news hound Jasper T. Jowls, Lucky reporter Helen Henney, foreign correspondent Pasquale, it's you. <laughs> and Mr. Munch taking care of the leftovers. Hmm, did I hear somebody say chow? <laughs> hmm. Take it away, Chucky. Thanks. You know that announcer's voiceover lessons are really starting to pay off. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show that does not bring you both sides of the news. Hey, we don't need to. Because there's nothing on the other side of the news. See? Just blank paper. <laughs> but anyway, on this side of the news, we've got some terrific stories for you today. And they're all about cars. And our first report comes from our own news hound, Jasper T. Jowls. Thanks, Chucky. I have here a fascinating new survey on dogs and cars, which was just released here at the headquarters of the AAA Association. That's the American Automobile Association, right? Uh, well, no. This AAA is the ARF ARF Association. <laughs> hey, I said it was about dogs. The ARF ARF Association? Um, anyway, this survey asked dogs several questions about cars. The first was, why do dogs chase cars? 50% want to go for a ride. 30% want to be with the people inside the car. 15% want to bury the car in the backyard. And the other 5% had no opinion because they were scratching fleas. When asked why do dogs hang their heads out car windows, 60% of dogs said it was to get a nice breeze. 25% said it was so they could pretend to be Superman. 10% said it was because they thought they'd look silly with their tails sticking out the window. And the other 5% still had no opinion because they were scratching fleas. And the final question was, why don't dogs drive cars? 50% of dogs said they'd rather go for a nice walk. 27% said, hey, where do I have to go? I'm a dog. 18% said it was hard enough getting a dog license, let alone a driver's license. And the last five percent, the last five percent, the five percent still had no opinion because because they, they were scratching oh, their fleas. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, God, get off of me. Uh, thanks, Jasper. <laughs> we were all itching for those survey results, and now with a report on auto safety, here's Helen Henning. Thanks, Chucky. You know, one of the most important safety rules for boys and girls who ride in cars is to always remember to fasten your seatbelt. That's why the Triple Egg Association... Did you say Triple A? Uh, no, no, the Triple Egg Association. It's a chicken thing. Oh. <laughs> anyway, the group has come up with a new bumper sticker that says, You're not being chicken when you bu bu buckle up. Bu bu Buckle up, get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Uh, but it's real good advice for all you kids, too. Buckle up those seatbelts every time, okay? And now, let's hear from someone who can hardly fasten any belt, our wide, wide weatherman, Mr. Munch. Well, thank you, Chucky. <laughs> As you can see, we got us a whole heap of weather. What with things going this way and that way and every which way. Why, frankly, I can't figure out what's going on, so let's just take a look at the satellite photo, okay? Ho, 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 wee! Just look at that satellite photo. <laughs> That's a humdinger, boy. And <laughs> now back to you, Chucky. But much. You never told us about the weather. <laughs> you know, you're right. <laughs> well, let me just see here. <laughs> I can just see out the front door from here and, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what the weather was doing when you got here? Well, it's still doing it. And now back to you, Chucky. Thanks, Munch. 
Uh, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for lots more fun. And remember, if no news is good news, then we've got the best news on TV. See you later. Here, I got it.
Okay, everyone, climb aboard as we transport you through the musical sound barrier. Welcome, if you will, Chuck E. Cheese and Munch's Make Believe Band. Hello again, everyone. Well, with this super fast pace of the jet age, what with supersonic jets and bullet trains and water skimming hydrofoil boats, it's nice to see people slow down, kick back, and settle in on a more relaxed form of old fashioned transportation. <laughs> Pasquale, I know what you mean. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Then why don't we all start the pedaling? I'm right behind you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't afford a carriage But you're a sweet Upon the seat of a bicycle Built for two She loves me She loves me now She loves me She loves me now uh, Munch, what are you doing? Well, I'm in love and I'm just wanting to find out if she feels the same way about me Oh, I know what you mean I love to help Daisy pedal <laughs> Daisy Pedal. <laughs> Daisy Pedal. <laughs> it's a joke. A flower joke. <laughs> Guys, I got an idea. Yeah? What do you say we borrow Helen's daddy's car and go cruise to the beach? Great idea! Ooh, I can't wait to go! Oh boy, what kind of car is it? A T-boy. I like it. <laughs> well, she got a daddy's car and she cruised through the hamburger stand now. Seems she forgot all about the library like she told her old man. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the band is taking a break. 
Stay tuned for a CEC TV special. Go around the world in nothing flat. Using music as your welcome mat. Learn some real fun huh, figures and facts. Tuning into Chucky's Geography Rap. Spin that globe! The oceans of the wild are what we'll explore. From the crests of its waves down to its coral sea floor. There are four main bodies in the deep blue sea. So come along and sail them all with Chucky and me. Now an ocean I know that our seal friends think is nice is the Arctic Ocean way up north with lots of floating ice. Down south, the manatee happily presides in the Indian Ocean amongst the warm, foamy tides. Now east of the Americas, we shall make a toast to the ocean in this world of ours with the longest coasts. It's called the Great Atlantic, and I'm sure that you will note that to sail across this ocean would take a pretty big boat. <laughs> but the biggest of all oceans, we think it's pretty terrific. Wrapping halfway around the world, it's called the mighty Pacific. So remember the oceans as we sail away. Ship ahoy, young mateys, and have a great day.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chuck E. Cheese presents a band coming at you faster than the speed of sound. So here they are, Munch's Make Believe Band. Kalamazoo, Bismarck to Mobile and to Little Rock too. From New Hampshire down to New Mexico, climb aboard if you wanna go. Go and sight see Go and sight Yeah, come on, we go and sight see Go and see You know we go and sight see Everybody come along. From Tallahassee to Tona Park. From California down to Arkansas I Come along, get a seat on the bus I just said back and leave the driving to us Because we're going sightseeing Going sightseeing You know we're going sightseeing Going sightseeing oh, Come on, we're going sightseeing Everybody come along Yeah, 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 Of course, you've got some secret additive you can throw in with the gas. <laughs> well, Chucky, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Wow, what do you call it? Rocket. Oh, 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 oh. Highway to the 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the band is taking a break. Stay tuned for a CEC TV special. <laughs> hey, everybody, who's ready for a vacation? Well, I certainly am, and boy, do I love to travel. You know, there's lots of ways to travel by planes, trains, and automobiles. And I love to fly in planes up, up, and away into the great blue yonder to look down at all the people and places below, and then land a short time later in an all new place to see and visit. Why, you can go anywhere in the world in a matter of hours or minutes. <laughs> we have have certainly come a long way since the Wright brothers invented the first open plane at Kitty Hawk. <laughs> we now have supersonic jets that can break the speed of sound. <laughs> wow. Now if only we can get more peanuts in those little bags. <laughs> and how about more pizza on the flights? And uh, I mean... Hey, Munch! What? We're discussing how people travel from place to place, not how food travels to your stomach. <laughs> and don't forget, Munch, one of the most historical and traditional means of traveling is by train. Why, the old locomotive was the most popular form of travel during the first part of this century. You could travel, see the sights, eat, sleep, and have a party all on the same train. It was like a hotel on wheels. In Europe today, it is still the main source of travel from city to city for most people. Just think, if we could add a swimming pool, baseball field, movie theaters, a roller rink... Whoa, Jasper, I think you've gone off your railroad tracks. Why, the most immediate and popular form of travel today is the automobile. There are hundreds and hundreds of different types of cars, and a lot of households have two cars per family. With our cars, we can get where we want when we want. At the turn of a key and the push of a pedal. Why, we couldn't get around today without the use of our cars. We also wouldn't have traffic jams, speeding tickets, or as much air pollution. Why, they say if we carpool and take fewer short trips, we can cut down on some air problems. And I certainly wouldn't mind carpooling with a cute rooster in a little red Corvette. Well, no matter who you are, or who you travel with, or where you travel to, why not try a plane? Train! Or automobile! 